hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just the proof. Why be? Why be? I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum. The moon landing didn't happen. Oh, sorry, I farted. What? Hey girls, how you doing? Let's recap our girls' vlogs. A lot of people are just like asking why I'm always so tired. I suffer with insomnia. I have suffered with insomnia since I was a little girl. She can't sleep well because she has sleep apnea and she doesn't sleep till six in the morning. Remembers my story about me getting ran over by geese when I was like four. There they are. Some of you don't believe that story, but it's literally on the video. I wish I still had it, but I don't. Of course we remember, it's one of my favorite ALR quote. And if you don't show us the video, then it never existed, goal. <laughs> so I'm about to just take my makeup off. I'm currently watching Chantel live. And my opinion, FFG is a harasser, should not have went to Chantel's fashion show. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, that's harassment. For those of you who don't know, FFG is a Chantel reaction channel and harsh critic, she went to Chantel's fashion show. Yes, Chantel was in a fashion show. FFG was acting very friendly and even sat next to Pete's. I personally think it was super weird and awkward. You can't shit talk a person online and call them all kinds of names, then go and be all friendly with them in person lol. However, I don't think that was harassment, it was a weird trolling situation type deal. So I know me and Chantel, you know, we don't get along anymore, but right is right, wrong is wrong. Go get over it, Chantel will not talk to you again, lol. One very annoying thing about Amberlynn is her pretending that she is this kind-hearted, sweet, innocent person, when we all know she is not. You considered Chantel a dear friend, then went and apologized to her ex, which she claims that he abused and SA her. Stop with this nonsense. They take all of our content, they think it's okay when it's not. Lowell, we have been through this goal. If it is transformative, it's fine. Which this is bringing up a whole other topic for me, which is Vlogmas. And I know there's channels out there who react to every single video I put out. It's not the reaction channel's fault that you are too boring and people would rather watch your content with someone's commentary and edits. Done a little talky talky with the highest level that I can, which probably isn't much from the YouTube. But reaction channels cannot be about one singular person. Reaction channels are supposed to be transformative. When you're reacting to me taking off my makeup, that's not transformative reactions. <laughs> you're not being transformative. You are using my content to walk yourself to the bank. Lol, she is mad that her views are down and she can't afford wasting money on Torrid and Takeout. Like I said, we have been through this. Reaction channels are part of YouTube and there are thousands of them making millions. Stating your opinion about someone's content is transformative and allowed on YouTube. You will not be part of the YouTube partner program if your content was not transformative, if you just uploaded the whole video with a little edit, it doesn't count. However, she isn't talking about those channels, she is talking about commentary channels which are very much transformative. We're relying on Amberlynn Reed. I've been snooping. I've been watching some reaction channels because I need to know which ones to come for. <laughs> no, I need to know which ones um, that I'm talking about. Like, if I'm talking to YouTube, I need to have my knowledge. No, you can't force people to watch your content and not reaction channels. It is mind-boggling that she can't understand why people don't like watching her content alone. If I plan on doing Vlogmas, which is every day uploading, I don't want people taking my content or stealing my content. It's not happening. People on YouTube don't react to vlogs unless something like spectacular happened or it's interesting or something went viral or something is controversial. People don't just sit there and fucking react to vloggers. It's not a thing. There is all types of content on YouTube. I have seen people reacting to reactions low. I don't know why she is so confused. She is afraid because the views are down and come December she will not make as much as she did before. However, the views of all reaction channels are down too because you are boring or low. And I might have to, because it's taking away views, no other YouTuber would allow this. I might have to go deeper into truly striking channels that are consistently stealing my full video to react to nothing. See, we all know she isn't the smartest goal, but you can't go around and abuse the striking system on YouTube. It's not stealing when you sit down and record your commentary about someone's video. It is not that hard to understand goal. If they are re-uploading your videos with little to no edit, then you might have a case. 
but you can't go around and strike people because your viewers would rather watch them than you. I don't want to take someone's channel off of YouTube, but I want them to find their own content. You're literally relying on my content for your own benefit. This is our content goal. Not everyone has to put a camera on their faces and vlog their lives for it to be considered content. I have to make the content. I have to go through the hate. I have to go through the shit. And then I'm called boring, even though I'm the one making the content. But then these reaction channels get to sit in their little chair, stare at a screen and just complain the whole time. No, she is mad that people love the reaction channels and not her. Well, you should look at yourself to figure out why that is goal. Now let's review her newest weight gaining vlog. So random fact about me. I do like a clean apartment, obviously, but there's a few things that I am a big procrastinator on. Yep, this is my sink. And these are all clean clothes. <laughs> oh my God, I hate putting away clean laundry. That's like one of my least favorite chores. Lo, you can't say you love a clean apartment, then show me a mountain of clothes on your sink. That's just not right, Gore. Also, we all know you don't like any chores. If I look sad, it's because I am sad. And I've done a lot of crying. Today, I want to talk to you guys about what I'm going through, but it makes it more real to say out loud. And on top of everything else, I'm pretty sure I've gained weight. I don't know, I feel it in my body. I kind of feel it in the way that I breathe. I haven't weighed myself since my last weigh-in video. And like, I'm pretty sure I've gained weight. She goes on and on about how she is going through a situation type deal, and she ends up not saying what it is. Lol typical Amberlin. Also, why are you gaining weight? I thought we were on track and ready to change your lives for good. Every time she gains weight she tells us that she is going through something so that we don't judge her lol. Got some takeout. So I got this Mexican place. It's uh, tacos. Oh my gosh. They're just like steak tacos. Some rice. Okay, two things of rice. It does come with some sauce. I usually don't use that. Lowell got a love of gall. She is pretending she didn't know she ordered two rices, Lowell. It seems like she is going right back to her old ways of ordering takeout twice a day and gaining weight. It's sad though, we were all rooting for you, Gore. As for the rice, sometimes it's a hit or miss. Let's see. It's good today. Tomorrow I need to get back on track with my weight loss because this ain't it. Like I mentally, you know, just feel sad. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, she will start another day one tomorrow.